I'm a filmmaker. Every day when I get up, I choose to go to work despite the risk, despite the energy, the enormous amount of energy it demands. Every day I choose this life again and again, working on different projects for now about 10 years or more, I realized that addressing certain topics were able to connect people. And I will give you an example now. I recently made a short film about the challenges of immigration and what it means to define a new home when you have left all you have behind. And this is how I chose to portray this uh, very, very heavy topic and that resonated with a lot of people around the world. Maybe last example that I would like to present is this really interesting and, 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 and crazy project that we did. I co-created a feature film and this is the story of the pursuit of a dream. And we showed this, this film all over the world in, in America, in Africa, in Asia, and everywhere we, we were able to show the film, we found out that the audience was resonating and had somehow got an inspiration from the topics of this film. This is why Every day, again and again, I get up and I choose to pursue my passion because I strongly believe that when we together work and create this small miracle that we, can, that we call a film, we are able to touch people that we have never seen before. We are, we are able to connect with them even though we have never talked with them before. And uh, this is really a privilege that we as artists have. We are able to create magic. I like to say that culture is like software. And why do I say this? Because if you look it up in the dictionary, software is an ensemble of directions that tell a computer what to do. And I would like to think of software as these guidelines that allow us to move forward together. So if culture is software, you have to think of culture as the fundamental element that, that is a characteristic of our humanness. It is our way to express our concerns, our way to criticize what is going on around us in the world, our way to express feelings and take the measure of the society. So with these guidelines, they will allow us to move forward as a people, as a civilization, they will, they will connect us all. I'm a filmmaker, I like to dwell in different worlds. And as I was doing research for this film I'm preparing, I had to read and, and, and do different, watch different uh, theories about what is happening in the, in what could be happening in fact in the future. And I really found it fascinating, but also at the same time terrifying. Because in 2050, who will know what the world will look like? How will we communicate? What, how will we relate to each other? Um, what will be our main challenges? What will be our obstacles? I'm not a scientist. I'm not a sociologue. I'm not a climatologist. I don't have the answers to all these questions. But what I know is that we have to find a solution quite quickly. Mm -hmm. 
when I was doing all this research, I realized that everything was an idea at first. Think about it. People were dreaming about flying, for instance. You can think about the myth of Icarus. Or people wanted to go to the moon. There is numerous and numerous examples in fiction of people writing about this. Think about biotechnologies, artificial intelligence. All these concepts have existed way before in our minds, way before we were able to, to, to make them happen. But because we wanted to, to have them, this prompted science to make it. So as I realized that, I came to understand the power of our imagination. So not only culture is able to touch us emotionally, but culture is also able to create something new to change the world, maybe. Well, after I came to realize that, it is concerning to me because this is a really big amount of power that we have in our hands or maybe in our brains first. But have we really taken the measure of what this means? What are we going to do with this power? Humans are able to invent concepts as abstract as money, for example. Think about it. Money is a piece of paper. It's a great fiction that is very useful for us to trade. But it will never hold if somebody stops believing in it. So the fact that we all agree and that we all believe in this is the only way this system works. So this is a great example to show that we are able to create these concepts, these different fictions that can connect us all, that can make us move forward as a civilization, as a people. But by doing this, we cannot, we ought not to forget what is our responsibility. I'm a filmmaker. I mostly work in fiction because this is where my heart is. But lately, I realized that what was happening in the world was way beyond anything I've ever created so far. We read dystopian fiction where the world has collapsed, where um, trees have burned, where the air is toxic, where there's surveillance society. All these elements that we read influence us. They make us become resigned. And as I was researching for my film, I realized that we barely have 10 years, maybe, hopefully, 10 years to change things. We ought to create a different way of living, more sustainable, where our society is more respectful of the environment. We ought to realize that we are a part of this environment. So how can we do this? Well, I think that is very similar to screenwriting. On a blank page, we have to create the desire of a new world. We have to create a new way of living. And we have to draw from our reality. And this is why the artists and culture 
are so important because now is the time to do it. We have 10 years to imagine other possibilities that are more sustainable. As you go out after this, I'm asking you to think about it and to participate in this project. You have the power to make some decisions and to help the idea generators, the creators of this new vision that, we, that will offer us solutions to where we should be going instead of where we're going right now. By what you buy, what you read, what you watch, how you live, consciously, you also have the power to participate and support the process. I'm a filmmaker. I love to create worlds and write fiction. This is how I can live many different lives. Thank you.